Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's wisdom will be coming out of First Peter, First Peter chapter 3, verse 18. That's First Peter chapter 3, verse 18. It says, For Christ also had once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to dead in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Today I want to talk about being triumphant in suffering, being triumphant in suffering. Of course, in our Bible class, Table Talk, we're dealing with journey unto triumph. Of course, triumph is something we do not for victory, but we do it from victory. And because uh, Jesus Christ was victorious at Calvary Cross, and of course, through his bodily resurrection, uh, he was victorious over the grave. And because we as believers, we put our faith and trust in him, he will always cause us to triumph and make manifest his saving knowledge in every place. Therefore, we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. We are winners. And so no matter what season we may, we may be in, no matter what difficulties we may encounter, no matter what our circumstances, God will always cause us to triumph. But as believers, we all must endure some sort of, of affliction. We must all endure some sort of suffering, whether it is emotional, whether it's physical, whether it's relational. We all will face it. But here Peter uh, began to uh, let the believers know how they can triumph. Of course, he lift up one who has been mistreated. Of course, uh, no one was mistreated as Christ was mistreated. I mean, Jesus, of course, the Son of God, who comes in his incarnated form, takes on the bodily form, and yet was misunderstood and was treated like a criminal, common criminal. And so he shares with us in verse 18, of course, Christ, how he triumphed in, in suffering. He said, for Christ once suffered. Of course, he let us know that, that even as we going through our suffering and the believer were going through it, especially after Nero was blaming them for setting the temple on fire, they were going through persecution, but they were letting them know that you had a partner in, in, in your persecution. He says, Christ once suffered for sin. Of course, uh, Christ was, uh, that he had no sin, but yet he suffered for sin, the purity of Christ, the just for the unjust, the proxy of Christ. Christ literally stood in our place. He stood as an advocate, the just for the unjust, and the purpose was he died, or he gave his life so that we might, that he might bring us unto God. Of course, being put to death in the flesh, but yet we see he prevailing. He was quickened by God the Holy Spirit. Listen, uh, join us tonight as we deal with this topic, being triumphant in suffering. I pray again the word of God has blessed you on today. As always, today will be better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today. Why? Because I will strive to live better, be better, and do better. I am happy, healthy, and holy, being triumphant in suffering.